Hey everyone, welcome to real time software testing interview questions and answers. In this video, I'm going to cover some of the scenario based interview questions and answers that are very relevant to test leads and test managers. Or if you are a fresher or a person who is trying to get into software testing, these questions will still be re very relevant and very helpful for you to excel in the interview. So in case it doesn't matter, you are a fresher, but still say, for example, some situations, some questions arise or are being asked in the interview. If you watch these questions, you will be able to answer the questions in a better way. Okay, so let's get started and I'll cover some of the scenario based questions in this video and in upcoming videos, I'll cover more questions. Okay, so the first question, say for example, uh, scenario based or a real time could be interviewer asks, asks you that say for example, you are testing an application. How will you test the application which requires integration with third party systems or the APIs which are not available? Okay, when we say third party system or the APIs, so third party system, say for example, you are building an application. All right, your development team is building an application. That application might need to communicate or, or have the integration with other applications which are not built by your team. Okay, for example, you have the e-commerce application that you are building. All right. Now in the e-commerce application for marketing, okay, for mac marketing or for promotions, you are using a module that you do not want to develop from the scratch. Okay. So you have your e-commerce application, but for marketing, for, for the promotions, you are using some third party application, which is built by some other company and that third party application is not available. All right. Even the APIs are not available. They do not provide you the test environment. Mostly the third party application, they won't provide you the test environment to test your application that you are building, right? So this question, the relevance of this question is in the real projects, there are every project will have situations wherein you will have some dependency on third party applications third party APIs, which are not available. So how as a test lead or manager or as as a tester, you are going to manage testing in these sort of scenario. You have the test environment, but your test environment just hosts the test application or the application that is being developed by your team. Now you have to also ensure that for the promotions. Okay. So when on your e-commerce application, you want to run the promotions. So how will you test that promotions module? Okay. Or basically how will you, will you test that if say, for example, promotions are launched by the third party application, how will they appear on the e-commerce application? Okay. So how are you going to tackle this particular situation? The purpose of this question is to how as a tester, test manager, test lead, you are going to tackle this particular situation. And this promotions is just one example. There could be anything, any APIs, any third party application, the approach will be similar. Okay. So the answer to this particular question is not just straightforward, right? So there are n number of ways you can go ahead and tackle this and do this. First thing is if say, for example, as a development team, your development team is already building the promotions module within your application. Basically, they are not building the module. They are, they are, they want to test that promotions in the e-commerce app that they are building. Now, as the development team is doing it, they by default, develop the stubs for whichever third party systems are not available to the development team. They use the development tools. There are multiple mocking tools available. For example, Wiremock or Mountebank to stub to create stubs or the APIs to create the third party APIs, which are mocked and the development team uses those mock and as part of those mocks, they send the response the way third party system or the API will send to the application. Now, third party system will definitely have the documentation. So they'll ensure they'll show they'll have the documentation and based on that documentation, say, for example, the promotion information is coming as a JSON file or as an XML file. Okay. As part of the rest API. Okay. So as part of the rest API, when that promotion information comes as a JSON response, to the e-commerce application, that same JSON response can be mocked 
or created a stub and that's what developers do they create a stub they will go through the documentation of the third party system and apis and they'll ensure that okay for this particular response for for 200 okay or for successful promotion to come through i will need these attributes to pass through as key value pair in the json response and then my application that i'm building will consume that json response and i'll be able to see how the promotion will appear in my e-commerce application on the web okay so even though the third party system is absolutely not available you can go ahead and stub it so developers go ahead and stub that using the tool so your answer will be if developers are already using some tool will leverage that to reduce the amount of effort that will be required to set up those steps separately for the testing team and use it in case they are using very quick and dirty approach as a testing team as a testing manager and lead we'll ensure that we'll spin up our own stubbing mechanism right so we will have either wire mock or anything or any open source or there there are other proprietary tools as well paid tools as well for example lisa which will provide you the stubbing functionality that you can utilize to create stub and mimic the third party system APIs or the responses and consume that into the application that you are trying to test and test the response accordingly based on the scenario. Now, as part of the baseline, when you are mimicking or creating the stubs, the baseline is the documentation that third party systems provide you, right? There will always be a documentation available in terms of what sort of APIs are exposed, what, what APIs they have exposed and what attributes or what different scenarios are being covered as part of those responses. So error response, success response, etc. So you have to ensure that when you are creating the stub, your stubs are covering those scenarios as per the documentation of the third party APIs and you are consuming that within your application and testing against those responses and making sure that your application functions well in all those different scenarios right and swagger documentation if you talk about the api documentation swagger documentation is one of that that will help you to understand what sort of apis are exposed so if you go to any of these open source uh, not open source but any any of the tool for example you go to the jira documentation right you go to google google has all the public APIs. So if I want to integrate my application with Google, Google Maps or say for example, right, then in that particular case, I'll go ahead and search for Google Maps APIs and see what is the, what, what are the details required and mimic the responses accordingly that Google Map will send to the application and then test accordingly, right? So that's the approach that will be taken by the leads managers. It doesn't matter. You are a tester as well. This information is highly required by anyone into the testing team that visibility is required right so that's the first question now moving to the second one so what will be your approach to test the responsive web-based application that's the second question now here you have a responsive web-based application right so clearly interviewer has mentioned responsive web-based application okay one thing you can ensure here is if say for example things are not very clear in the question that is being asked there is no harm clarifying your understanding before jumping into the answer okay so for example here i didn't get the full so here if interviewer would have missed that web-based part so responsive applications for example right so in in that particular case responsive application then you are not sure whether it's a web-based or it's a mobile app right then you go ahead and clarify is it just a mobile application that you're talking about and if it is a mobile application, uh, what sort of operating systems does it cover? Does it cover Android, iOS and other any, any other mobile OSs as well? So those sort of details, you can go ahead and cross question. And many times those cross questioning is what is required from the testers, right? As a tester, your job is to ensure that you grab and get the max information out of what is being shared to you. So as part of the question, if you are not clear on few things, even though you are 100, even though, though say for example, you are 90% clear, still it, there is no harm to go ahead and ask more questions around and then formulate your answers. Because many times when you start asking questions, your answers will get more refined and will get more to the point because as the tester, you will be doing similar stuff in your project, right? You won't straight away go ahead and jump in. Okay, I've read this. 
this is what I'll do. I'll start writing test cases. You will go ahead, get more information out of it. You'll design your scenarios. You'll go ahead, take the feedback, ask more questions. Maybe more scenarios will be required to get the coverage, right? So that's how you are going to do. So here it says responsive web-based application. Okay, so it is a browser-based application. Now, does this application uh, that you are trying to build, you can ask the question to the interviewer. Uh, does this application, uh, is this application only required for the for the desktop and laptops or you also want to check the responsiveness on the mobile devices as well and that too on the browser based right so on the mobile as well you have the browser so if that's that's the conversation that you should start in this particular case because this is very broad when we say responsive web-based application then your approach here what the interviewer wants to ask is whether you'll ask the right set of question and get the complete information because before you go ahead and get your matrix created right when we say matrix created the matrix of the browser and device right so for example okay windows operating system and then on windows how many browsers your application need to be compliant on okay for example on windows the the client is looking that on windows firefox edge and your chrome should be supported right then on your mobile device on ios your safari okay then on the android your different browsers that are supported so when you start questioning now don't jump in this answer straight away so this is more of a question thing that you start questioning and then the interview will start okay i want to test on windows and these sort of browsers then on mobile device these browsers so then you go ahead okay now i understand that you want to test on windows these are the three browsers on the android device these are the two browsers and on ios this this is this is one browser or two browser right now based on that i'll create a matrix of the coverage coverage matrix so on windows these three devices uh, these three browsers where i'll well i'll test the responsiveness of your particular application that you're building on the android device i'll do this on ios i'll do this now, once I have the matrix, I'll make sure that the testing team goes ahead and tests across those applications. Now, this, I won't go ahead and do everything manually. I'll also le leverage. When we say manually, somebody going ahead into that particular machine, opening the browser and testing everything manually on each of those browsers. I'll leverage as a test lead and manager. I'll ensure my team has enough UI test automation coverage that... I can go ahead and straight away based on the matrix I can point my test cases to different browser combinations and see how the application will function on the different combination of these platforms and browser for the responsive web-based application that you are building right so you can think that the answer that I gave for this particular question was just last couple of minutes the rest is all querying or asking questions to the interviewer if you are not absolutely sure in the first one it was pretty mostly clear but still you could go ahead and in case things are not clear then you ask okay when we say apis or third party systems are not available so does that mean is there documentation available? Is the Swagger documentation available? Will I be able to know what sort of responses are required or basically will be sent, right? That shows that you know the details and descriptions of how the integration happens, how the communication happens between two systems. And this shows that when you are going for interview, this shows your knowledge and your depth that you will bring into that particular team and the value you will add by asking the questions that will help business analysts, the developers, the architects to think from the perspective that testers think and cover any of the gaps that are there in their design, in their development. So testing is not just only about writing your test cases and executing that. It's, it starts much before that the value that tester and test manager and lead brings in is through the right set of questions whenever you are reading the documentation that's when whenever you are being part of the team discussions your questions that you ask that is when your job actually you know starts starts from right from the beginning and not the documentation and the test execution phase right so that's the key thing that you will make sure as you grow 
more senior into your roles this is what you have to make sure that you learn whenever you are going for the interview it doesn't matter you grow senior or you are a fresher still asking the question is what is expected out of the interview so i'll stop on these two questions for this video in the next video i'll cover two more questions which which will be really helpful in the interview and then in this series i'll be covering more and more interview questions that will be really helpful for the testing professional especially managers lead and anyone who is looking for software testing career and growth into the software testing so that's all for this video i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching see you in the next one